You actually have hair like Sir Thomas on uh, Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. <laughs> Sir Thomas, can I have some, some Turkish delights? I want Turkish delights! Today, Rachie and I are going out to go geocaching. And when we're doing that, it'll be snowing all over us. But we're going with dear, dear, dear friend of ours. Dear, dear, dear. No, we're right on top of this. I mean, it's got to be this one. Somewhere. We've, um, already, we've already found one geocache today, and now we're looking for a second. <laughs> Magnetic. So this is our fourth cache of the fourth day. Fourth cache of the day. Yeah. <laughs> this one's supposed to be magnetic, so we'll just look for anything that's made of metal. First thing, lamp post. <laughs> we see anything? Probably. Found it. Found it. Oh snap! Rachel's taking pictures. Of you. Put your phone smile. Second geocache, Rachie? Uh huh? Second geocache for you? Yeah. I'm the paparazzi for the geocaching. So Thomas! So Thomas! Muggles are about. There's muggles around. Is it there? Nope. Strike out! <laughs> he dives in the car. <laughs> So guys, see these ambulances? Ambulances. Fire, fire truck. truck. Fire truck. That was some fire truck. So uh, guess, guess who gave? Well, I'm not gonna say guess because you guys already kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so we were Colin and I were geocaching. You can see Colin by me here, and uh, we were out in the woods. And, and right now it's the time of year where it's six o'clock, and it's like it's like pitch black out. Freezing. Yeah, and it's 29 degrees. Well, all day it was 32 or 33. And uh, the roads were getting like water on them and stuff. And uh, when it got just cold enough, and we were out geocaching in the woods, Rachel was just parking in the parking lot with the heat. Yeah, on. we were about to give up. Yeah, we were about ready to give up on the geocache and just walk back. Say, like, oh well, good day. And uh, all of a sudden we were days. We look over and like these headlights are flying everywhere and body parts, not really body parts, but uh, then we go. I'm like, I start running, like booking, like you know, because I'm. Boy Scouts, and that's what I have to do. You know, I just run my ass over there and help out with an emergency. And uh, Colin, Colin's like, I'm on my way too. <laughs> he's like, he's like charging after me, running. And we ran up there. We saw one car that with the hon the horn was like stuck down, like honking. And the lady just kept moving slowly, and her horn just kept honking and honking. I don't think she could like slow her car down. She shut it off, and it still was doing that. And uh, so I, I was, I saw, I, I turned to my left and I looked, and there was like two big like F-150 trucks and they just BAM right into each other and we actually witnessed that one and so I called 911 like instantly right as it happened and then uh, police were there and but Colin and I were the cause of those fire trucks and ambulances getting down here that's right it was awesome okay. what you just saw <laughs> I wish I would have filmed it man I'm a bad vlogger Rachel slapped me for it not really but yeah alright we're going to another geocaching even though it's way too dark to be going geocaching <laughs> right here it's right here. So it has to be in this general area. It says it's up a little bit. Maybe it's on this pole, dude. Uh, uh, oh, 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 snap. Oh. <laughs> you got it. You got, got it. it. Got nice. it. Nice. Oh. Uh, now, I have a question for you folks that are watching. Did that seem scripted or what? <laughs> <laughs> the unboxing. Colin's excited about this. I am. As am I. I'm glad you guys are used to wearing their Oh, <laughs> uh, what's your YouTube name? You you promote yourself, dude. Oh, uh, YouTube name is uh, Seedcore. You know, me Seedcore. What is it? Seedcore. S e e d core. Yes. S e e d c o r r. Two R's. And maybe 53 on the end of that, but I'm not sure. All right, well I'll put it in the in the pants bar. <laughs> oh, I got the throne room. We're watching Chimpanzee Rides the Segway.
Horishi in the gas station and I'm going to get the car because it is really cool. It's, the wind is the worst. It's, my face is all toughened up. I had to get lottery tickets today because today is the day that the Indiana Lucky Dog thing is, is out. And uh, the dogs that are on here are pretty interesting because they're actually people's dogs that are, live in Indiana. And one of the dogs is a Dalmatian. His name is Buster. And that is that is the dog that was in our last vlog at the beginning. It was like burrowing around in my underneath my legs and stuff. He's uh, he's my mother-in-law's dog. Rachie's mom's dog. Yep. And I, I bought some today. And I didn't get Buster, but I got Furball. I mean Ivory. <laughs> And I wanted to make a comment that, um, no offense, but to whoever owns this dog, if you do look like your dog, like most people, owners look like their dogs, I pity you. <laughs> hey, you guys, this might be too dark to see, but man, there are like hundreds of crows up here. It's so cold out. I don't know what they're doing here. Hey! Funny story, he had stopped at a subway <clears throat> on his way to work, and um, I guess one of my couple of my co workers were there, and uh, he was waiting in line and heard his voice from behind He's like, Yeah, that, that Rachel works, you know, with that, you know, he, he used my last name, obviously, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, I was like, Yeah, that Rachel. She's such a pain in the butt. And Chauncey was like, what? Turns his head around. And like, oh. It's just you. It's just one of my coworkers. So. They're just poking fun at me. Just because they know who he is. So. But anyway. I am on my way to campus. Oh no. It's Christmas Eve and people are out mud bogging. Yeah. That doesn't look like it's very much fun. If I had a big truck, I'd pull over and pull them out like these guys. I'm glad they have some help. Oh, this is the, the blinder for the, the correct tonneau cover, yes. That's awesome. <laughs> right. the the out it's on the table. It should be okay to leave it open. It's, cool. it's a little it's still open. Oh, he's bringing his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to always have a dance for I haven't even been She's a good leader. <laughs> the Adobe CS5 stuff. <laughs> hey, everybody. Rachie and I are looking at Christmas lights. This is a place called Winding Brook. Yeah, we're in between Christmas and New Year's. It is... Yep. Well, that's cool. The trampoline well, made that's it look neat. like a wreath. Yeah, so that's a big trampoline. They just turned into a big wreath. This neighborhood is it's like was built in the 50s, so the houses are kind of older, and the trees here are really tall, so that makes for a really cool like canopy up above. Stuff like this. Oh, there we go. There stuff like go. this, that one. And stuff like that. Right there. Well, that's really well done. That's cool. There's a nativity scene. That's the way you do it. Cardboard, well, not cardboard cutouts, but like plywood cutouts. Yeah. That's a cool one. There's nutcrackers. So, for, for anybody I show this to, if if, if you're complaining about your homework, just think about what my friend Jeff here has to deal with. He is a computational physicist. So tell me about this equation, Jeff. Uh, so I'm calculating the expectation value of finding an electron um, when it's ionized um, so when, by an external electric field. When an atom is ionized, an electron pops off of it, and he's calculating the cloud, like where the cloud is, what it what it looks like, the probability cloud. 
of its actual like location, right? Yeah, yeah. We're trying to find where we'd expect to find it. How far away from the atom? So you start off with uh, the expectation value of x, and we know from our solution from the Schrodinger's equation that this current state of the particle is equal to the particle in the field, um, with this extra propagation factor out there. So we foil this out in four terms, and then we solve each of these individually. Um, and I'll just show you what it looks like from large scale. It gets really messy. Holy smokes. It gets pretty crazy. And you get down where uh, your final terms end up having this form, where um, you can see that there's actually... The whole point is that if we perform our integration over space, that it's only a time-dependent problem. And so you can see from here that... Uh, you only see t's, like it's an entire kind of problem. But each of these little coefficient c's are very complex polynomials too that are imaginary. But it's only time dependent, so that's what's cool about it. Yeah, that's very impressive. Happy New Year! I'm up at my parents' house, and my dad, uh, he wanted to show me this this morning. He's been working on a old vintage Volkswagen engine with some new parts in it for my mom's uh, Volkswagen convertible. It's all somewhat original, but uh, he's got it running, so I wanted to show you. Oh, okay. That engine is going to go in this vehicle. semi-high RPM, like 3,000 or 4,000 RPMs, and uh, I mean, this is exactly what you would do with software, too. It's like, you create it, and then you just sit there and let it run uh, for long periods of time, and you know, see if it causes any problems. He's looking for oil spurting out, he's watching the gauges that he's got hooked up, the temporary gauges, and so then he can see, like, if it, uh, if it has any issues, then, you know, if it passes all his tests here, put it in the vehicle and then he'll test it with all the actual mechanical parts of the vehicle and then if that passes that then he'll clean the vehicle up and get it all ready and my mom's got a new convertible Volkswagen. Each individual spark. Yeah. Good. Regardless of whether we need a car or not. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fancy cars here. So here is the new Forester for 2011. It's pretty much the same thing as the 2010 Forester. Super Outback. If I could afford it, my next car would be in a BMW X5. This is like Rachel's dream car, but in white. What color do you want? Huh? What color do you want? I don't know. It depends on what colors are available. So here it is, everyone. The all-electric Chevy Volt.